This is America's Road Network. And more than 90% of these roads are paved with asphalt concrete. That's more than 2 million miles that are destined to fail. Although asphalt pavements are typically designed to hold up for 20 years or more, what we observe is that this is not happening. We're seeing premature pavement failure time and time and time again. But why? There are sometimes a combination of factors, but even when all of these tasks are seemingly executed to perfection, premature failures in pavements are still reported. Why? It is because asphalt pavements are held together with a glue-like binder that has a relatively short lifespan when exposed directly to the elements. You see, as binders age, they increasingly become stiff and brittle, causing pavements to crack. According to this study, Federally and state-funded highway asphalt certifications are issued based on as little as two years of expected resistance to aging and surface cracking. For a new 20-year structural pavement design, why is the performance of the pavement's glue not required to last more than two years? This shows that too often, we're using binders that are way past their prime. Properly designed and properly constructed asphalt pavements do not fail because of traffic. They are structurally designed to support the traffic. They fail because of the short lifespan of the glue that holds the pavement together. Even performance binder specifications do not minimize this effect because laboratory aging represents such a small portion of the pavement's intended lifespan. Another problem that's contributing to premature pavement failure is literally getting a bad rap. RAP or reclaimed asphalt pavements, involves taking pavements that are no longer serviceable and placing the crushed pieces back into a brand new pavements without modifying or upgrading the old asphalt glue. Which means we're using the same faulty binders that caused the cracks in the first place in new pavements. The proof is in black and white. This memo by the Federal Highway Administration states that an increasing number of state highway agencies are reporting premature cracking in relatively new asphalt pavements. And that many of these pavements contain high recycled asphalt binder content. The lack of control over virgin binder and untreated wrap binder aging susceptibility is creating a recipe for disaster on our roads. So. How do we course correct and make technologically advanced roadways of the future? We'll dive into that in the second part of our age-resistant asphalt technology series. Thanks for watching.